If there's anything I love more than a good tax write-off, it's gotta be headphones. Second to that, it's camera stuff. Let's do it. Yeah, man, look what we got in the house today, the Osmo Action. Oh man, it's wrapped up in that cellophane stuff, so I don't I don't know what it smells like. But we're gonna get into it real quick and fast because this is really just an unboxing and first experience. I'll probably do another interaction video and more in-depth video a little bit later, but today we're just gonna unbox this thing and see what it's all about. This is really DJI's first action camera right here. The Osmo Pocket, where's my Osmo Pocket? The Osmo Pocket is super duper nice to have a handheld gimbal, uh, but you know, it's not an action camera. You can't get this bad boy wet. You can't drop it. You can't do much of anything with it except uh, use it as a pocketable gimbal. So DJI decided to come in and literally destroy the game that was dominated by GoPro with this little bad boy. But the killer feature of this thing is the front facing screen. I gotta get this thing open. Mr. Meat, yeah, Mr. Meat is in the building. Now listen, Mr. Meat, you can't be destroying this package. This is the Osmo action. We're gonna be nice to this thing and show it some respect. So let's just get up in there, do a little quick slice and just get the cellophane off. Sometimes he loses it. Let me put him back up because this guy is super sharp. I wanna slice my fingers off on YouTube. Dang it, got another piece of tape right there. I need Mr. Meat again. Come on out, fella. All right, taking care of that. So there we go. The DJI action is front and center. It comes with the with the protection case already on it. This is a nice little package we got here, but let's put it to the side and get into some accessories real quick. Come on in here, man, just, just, just get in. Okay, there you go. You get a USB charging cable, then you get your lock and screw right there. And then you get, this is, uh, okay. So we have a round or circular uh, mounting base and then you have a rectangular. Is that even a word? Rectangular <laughs> um, mounting base right here. Hey, wait, wait a minute. This is a this is a base. Oh, I see what they got going here. I was confused because this was already attached. So you get two bases. One is rectangular and then one is circular. And you can just uh, sticky mount them to anything you want to. And then you get this connector right here, which is actually an adapter as well because it goes on to your uh, your housing right here. So let's just go ahead and make sure it fits. Yeah, you just twist it on there and it locks in place. So it's interchangeable. So as far as GoPro accessories, they will all fit on this uh, housing right here. Every last one of them will fit. So if you already got a bunch of GoPro stuff or GoPro knockoff accessories, uh, they will fit on here because it's the same style. And DJI was super smart with that because uh, why start a new ecosystem? It would have done nothing more than upset a lot of consumers because you gotta go buy a whole bunch of new stuff now. I like that they did that because yeah, it's already in place, so roll with it. As a matter of fact, this thing looks a lot like the GoPro with the exception of the square uh, lens. So let's put that back over to the side and this is, what is this? Ha, ah, it's a battery case. All right, so the battery has a case. Do, is there a battery in here already? I wonder. Let's go ahead and unlock this thing since we're getting into this right now. So this is a protective case that you can use. It's actually a housing that lets you uh, mount to all your different accessories and stuff like that. I wouldn't call it a case, but it will do some protecting for this thing, even though it can be used without the case because it is water resistant. Hold on, let me see here. You got 11 meters of water resistance and there's drop protection on here too. So it's already built into the camera, but you have some added protection right here once you put this on. It's got some pretty uh, stiff buttons right here that go on top of your buttons so you can keep interfacing with it. And you got a third one right there and that's your quick settings and then that's your display, power on and power off. Then there's your shutter button right there. And you got your lock just like you would with a GoPro. Okay, so if you press this little button down right here and pull out, it actually unlocks the, the door. Then you got your SD card slot and your USB-C uh, connector right there. Now, if you can see in there, you have that watertight trap door that's in there. It's kind of built in. That way, when you close that flap and slide it back in, you got your water, uh, your IPX rating intact once again. Here's your battery door switch right there. And speaking of which, let's go ahead and put that battery in there. Now, this is different. The battery comes attached to the door. Uh, I think that's a good thing and a bad thing. One, I mean, everything is proprietary at this point. You can't interchange these with any existing GoPro batteries or anything like that. Uh, the good part is if your door is open and you just left it like that and something, you know, I don't know, maybe you bump your camera off a table, it won't come flying off and then break off. Uh, it does have, you see this orange right here? That's your watertight seal that's going to go in there. And it only goes in one way, it looks like. And it looks like it has a dual locking mechanism. So you hit this once to open up that side and then 
This one unlocks the other side and it just kind of pops out. On this side, you got the speakers and the microphone. So if you take this housing right here and everything matches up right, you got your access to your battery door right there, just in case you need to pop it open and uh, put in your USB-C. And on this side, it has a full scale opening for your speaker and your, uh, your microphone. Now, let's go to the top of this bad boy. Of course, there's your button right there, your display and power, and then there's another mic, and then there's an LED and record and everything else. Okay, here's the magical moment. We peel off that screen. Oh, let me put that back on. Let me let you listen to that. Oh, yeah, let's do it again. Oh, yeah, we got one more. Oh, man, it's orgasmic. Mmm, that sounded and smelled like new stuff. Hashtag new stuff in the comment section if you're having a good time checking this thing out. But let's go ahead and get to the magic moment. Let's power this thing on. Power, let me just hold it. Man, that was actually really fast. Okay, and it is touchscreen back here. I don't believe the front is a touchscreen, but let's go ahead and boot this thing up. English, activate with DJI Mimo. Okay, give me a second. I gotta go ahead and get this thing squared away. Okay, as that firmware gets updated, let's take a look at this thing. It does have a touch screen, like I said before. So let's swipe down. Oh, that says auto rotation. So is that, is it gonna do? Oh, snap. Okay, it does have auto rotation. So now we're in portrait. Look at that. Okay, so now it flips over and the camera is literally upside down right now, but it just uh, rotated on its own. Now we are in portrait again. So it doesn't matter what the orientation of this thing is. It's always gonna be upright. Super slick, I like it. All right, so that's auto rotation. Then we got, um, okay, you can have custom modes and I guess that's for quick settings. Um, once again, this is just more of an unboxing and first experience. So I'll get into some of this stuff in the next video I do on this thing. But here it looks like brightness. Yeah, it got brightness. What is that, screen lock? Okay, it's an action camera. So you're gonna have your um, hands all over this thing. So yeah, it's important to lock the screen. Then you just swipe up. Or do you? Yeah, you swipe up to uh, unlock the screen. So that's nice and convenient to have. Here we got some uh, some settings here. We got voice control, snapshot, uh, quick switch. Okay, that's what that's called, quick switch. Uh, is that how you set them? Oh, cool. Okay, so you can actually toggle through all the stuff that you want in there. Your wireless connection, wind uh, noise reduction. All of your settings are in here. And once again, that was a quick tap of that right there. Let's get out of that. Swipe back down to go into that menu. What's this? Spot metering. Okay, right, right now it's off. This is a uh, voice control. Right now it's off. Okay, let's get into the next thing. That was a swipe from the top down. Now we'll swipe that back up and go from the uh, right side of the screen, swiping left. Now we get into some manual settings. Right now it's on auto, but if you click there, uh, now you got some manual settings uh, via your ISO and things of that nature, and you can just scroll up with your finger. That's super nice. Let's put it back on auto because I'm not an expert at this kind of stuff. Um, let me see here. There's no swiping. Oh, SD card is empty. So if you want to see what you got on your SD card, you swipe from the left out into the center. Is there an upswipe? Yeah. Okay. So this is where we get into the video settings. We can do uh, what, 4K. 4K, 2.7K, and then we got 1080p, 720p, and you have your frames per second at the bottom. I never shoot in 4K. I'm a 1080p 60 guy. So let's put it on 1080p 60. All my stuff is set at 1080p 60. So right there, you got your electronic image stabilization uh, button, which is actually called Rocksteady. Uh, that it's branded in this camera, it's called Rocksteady. So let's go ahead and leave that on. Okay, so right there, you see how my fingers in the picture and you can see, let me put my whole fingernail in there. You see my whole fingernail is in that picture. Now, if I swipe up and I hit the electronic image stabilization, the Rocksteady, now you'll see how my fingers kind of cut off a little bit. So it does crop in a little bit, but it doesn't look like that's enough to actually uh, to ruin your footage or anything that's going to bother you. It's definitely a wider, a much wider uh, image than you're going to get with your uh, Osmo Pocket here. So that right there stands out on its own. Before we get out of here, we need to check out the key feature of this thing, and that's that front facing screen right here. So in order to change the screen, you have to press and hold the quick settings button. And you see the little switch that just happened right there? Now it's on the other screen. So let's press it again. So go to the back. It's just a quick press and hold, and then it switches back. That freaking guy is handsome, man. Look at that guy. You see that guy? Oh my God. 
he is striking. This is so cool to be doing this on an action camera. This is just unheard of. I'm really not sure why GoPro has not done this yet. Um, you better believe that they will be doing it now since uh, Osmo Action has done it and now they need to keep up with the game. But uh, man, I am digging this right here. So now you have an action camera with a front facing screen and some killer image stabilization, man. I cannot wait to do a full review on this thing. I'm not necessarily a camera review guy, but I did do a nice little review. It was a vlog style review on the Osmo Pocket. You might wanna check that out. I shot the whole thing with the Osmo Pocket. It's a great device, but it falls short in a lot of categories. Um, but this right here picks up where this one leaves off. So basically where you're not satisfied with the Osmo Pocket, you actually get all the stuff you were looking for in the Osmo Action and vice versa. They do play off each other. So there is a need to have both of them. I don't think one actually, you know, will, will fix all of your needs. You actually kind of have a use for both of them. But as I'm holding this thing and just playing around with it, I have not recorded any video. Uh, I do feel this thing heating up quite a bit. This thing is super warm. Okay, so we're gonna have to check that out, see what the deal is with it getting so warm, but man, it is warm. Anyways, that was my unboxing and first impression of the DJI Osmo Action. Man, I'm loving this thing already. It feels like a quality device. I mean, build quality is top notch and I cannot wait to start playing around with this thing. Anyways, I gotta get out of here. But if you had a good time checking out this camera with me, you make sure you throw those emoji hands up in the comment section and I'll see y'all at the next one. All right, apparently you had a good time watching this video. Well, today is your lucky day because I didn't already made a whole bunch of them for you to go back and binge watch. But if you just want to check out the new stuff, you make sure you smash on that subscribe button and tap that little bell. That way you'll know when it's time to come back and open up some new stuff.